Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Whoever here. I hope that you are all doing well. I am stupid grinning for two reasons today. The first reason is on my screen, and actually all of my reasons for stupid grinning lead back to this man. The second reason is also because of Stell. He has been teasing, he is dropping his new vlog in about nine minutes and I'm so excited. I can't believe you've had to wait this long. I mean for me it's felt like an eternity um, but I'm so looking forward to watching it with you. Oh. But first things first, in this video I'm kind of putting together some covers and some unreleased stuff that you've recommended to me and it doesn't really fit anywhere else so I'm gonna try and string it all together into a longish video so please do have a look at the description below to see what I'm including in this and I'm really excited now I want to tell you story time about how I came across this you may have most definitely heard this previously um, but somebody shared this with me on Twitter the other day and I lost my mind. I had sleepless nights and although I've heard it, I wanted to share it on my channel just in case any new 18 out there hadn't heard this because this is making me feel really delusional. <laughs> I have lost all, I don't know, sense of what is going on in this world, and it's not right, but it's so right. I am talking all sorts of nonsense right now, and you're wondering what's going on if you haven't heard this. You'll find out in a second. Shall we enjoy this together? So the very first video in this is Stell covering Marry Your Daughter. <laughs> Sure, what I'm going to say. So, bear with me, please. If I take up too much of your time, if you're really shy, <laughs> see this box is a for your oldest. She's my everything, and all that I know is it would be no, such but... a relief if I knew that we were on the same side. Cause very soon I'm hoping that I can marry your daughter and make her my wife. I want her to be the only girl that I love for the rest of my life. And give her the best of me till the day that I die. Yeah. I'm gonna marry your princess and make her my queen. She'll be the most beautiful bride that I've ever I can't wait to smile when she walks down the aisle on the arm of her father on the day that I marry your daughter. Anybody care to share a few thoughts? Because I have nothing to say. My mind is empty, full of Stell, and I downloaded this immediately. That's how amazing I thought it was. Um, it's dreamy. If I ever want to escape to my delusional land, I'll just listen to this. How dare he cover this. <laughs> what is he trying to do? That was just my little gift for anybody that hasn't come across this and for anybody that has, a little reminder that actually this guy and his song choices are savage. <laughs> He's very aware of him being the people's boyfriend, basically. Um, anywho, let's compose myself. There's a ton of other stuff that I've got lined up here, so let's continue. A little bit of a compilation. This is a really, really sexy song, and I never thought that Stell would choose to cover this because he does sound quite pure and innocent. Interesting. I hope this is the whole thing. There's no reason to hide what we're feeling inside right now. So baby, let's just turn out the lights and close the door. Wow. 
with the rest of it. Somebody tell me that is an artist, right? The other guy? He's not just your average Filipino guy who just happens to have a fabulous voice like that, please. Tell me the truth. My heart can't take it if everybody is this talented. Um, Sounds a really good listener. Not only is everything that he does absolutely fantastic, but he's really good at collaborations. I get really greedy when I like somebody. I like to just hear them. So when you collaborate and you have to split lines and split time, I'm just not really sure about it. And I was like, why is this a part of the compilation? It's because Stell sounds so dreamy and because, like the other SB19 members, he's a very giving performer and he just, he knows how to highlight things and just absolutely beautiful. A great listener. Maybe we wouldn't be two worlds apart But right here in each other's songs We almost, we almost knew what love was But almost is never Oh my God. Of you in my sleepless to tonight. If it's wrong to love you, then my heart just won't let me be right. Cause I'm drowned in you and I won't pull through without you by my side. I can't. time differences between the Mariah Carey cover and then this one because he's already a lot more a lot clearer here he is able to produce that resonance a lot better but also this is his home isn't it so like he obviously has picked the best place for him to have his setup so when he does covers online it sounds amazing um but yeah there's already so much improvement a great song for him He is so freaking savage. And this is what I mean about he has this pure, sweet Prince-like voice. However, this moment here, whatever he was doing in this cover, he, it's something different. There's a lot more depth to that. And it might make me break. Sorry if you can relate. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I heard this. And I I? Burst into flame. I wanna love me the way that you love me. Oh, for all of my pretty, no more no, love me too. I love to see me from your point of view. I wanna trust me, trust me the way that you trust me. Oh, cause nobody ever loved me like you do. I love to see me from your point of view. 
the whole story of him just uh trying to make it as a dancer and just really downplaying his voice not realizing that he's a freaking main vocal is so hilarious i think that's typical stell um the fact that he is so comfortable up there that is unusual for a man it really is oh my god this Right now. And why do I get so nervous? Oh, I love this. Eyes. Butterflies got stung me falling for you. And darling, this is more than anything I felt before. You're everything that I want, but I didn't think I'd find some. He checks to see what's going on. I really love it. I think he's really great at picking songs out for himself. And I can just imagine, like, the power houses that are the vocalists of SB19. I can imagine Pablo singing that. I can imagine Ken singing it. And how different would it sound in each of those voices? There's some level of pronunciation that Stell picks up from each singer. He definitely sings it in their accent, which is quite interesting. Like, that, the way that he says nervous at the beginning of this, that's definitely the way that it's said in the original um but i really love it it's a great song choice again for him still i've loved you for so long and i've never seen you play an instrument before what <laughs> Listen to the original of that. <laughs> kind of sings it like this but he's brought it down even more energy wise you can see it in his face he's such an actor such a musical theatre actor somebody snap him up immediately please he's being wasted don't wanna feel another touch don't wanna start another fire don't wanna know another kiss no one in there Sunlight, no, I 
dead. Oh, he likes Zack. Remind me that I have to look into Zack now because this is the next person that SB19 are introducing me to. Um, obviously a good choice for his vocal range as well. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Whoa. I need a lover to keep me safe. Pull me from hell, bring me back again. Play me the classics, something romantic. Give him my own when I don't even have it. He doesn't have to take some sad songs. <laughs> Someone who feels like a holiday. But now I'm in pieces, barely believe it. Starting to think that I've lost a feeling. You came on the blue on a rainy night, no lie. I tell you how I almost died. Why are you bringing me back to life? I just wanna live in this moment forever. Cause I'm afraid of living getting getting any better. I need a full version of this one. I want to see how he would build it. Until you give up heaven so we can be together. Oh, my angel, angel, baby, angel. You're my angel, baby, baby. You're my angel, angel, baby. Because you don't think I know what you've done. So perfect. You can start to predict what sort of songs he would have on an album, perhaps. That was really interesting to watch. It kind of gave me the time to think about if he were to release a song or an album, what might it be like? And from what I'd seen before and what I've just sat down and watched with you, I get the feeling he, he likes to sing ballads, especially very sad ballads, and songs that have delicate moments in them, so not 
necessarily the big belty ballads. He likes this kind of acting through, and that really goes to everything that you have told me, what he has said that he aspires to do in the future, or, or at least try anyway, um, that acting, that theatre acting. So those delicate moments in the middle where you really have to emote through what you're singing, it's not necessarily about sounding beautiful, the kind of that breakdown in the character. Um, he likes to sing stuff like that. That's the stuff that excites his voice and excites his his artistic side. Um, so it's really interesting. I'm making all sorts of predictions as to what a solo song from him might be like, but to be honest, he's just such a bundle of joy and energy that he'll probably end up giving us something so pure and so positive that I'll be like, I was completely wrong. I'll hold my hands up at that point and just say to you that I've been completely wrong. It's so fun to just sit and watch him do this. It's a shame that he didn't cover songs in full, but I, you know, if these are TikTok covers, they're not really going to be that long. And I just have to stop being so damn greedy um, and just enjoy what I'm given. Some really, really great song choices in all of this, I have to say. And I'm looking forward to exploring some of these artists that I've come across through this. And I'm sure there are tons of other compilations and tons of other mini short covers that he's done that I will get to at some point please do talk to me about what perhaps your favourite cover of Stella's he's ever done. It could be like a 10 second thing, could be a full on cover, but talk to me about what's your favourite. I'm really intrigued to hear from you as to what you like to hear him sing, what you think suits his voice. Um, I really enjoyed this thoroughly. There is more on this list though. Let's continue. What's up? How's it so perhaps we've heard him sing a couple of these songs together before, but I'm looking forward to watching this. But can we please do this again? My family is watching. Nice. Very supportive. Pwede na po kayo mag-request ng kanta nyo. Nandito na si DJ, DJ Braces. What? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. Darling, I can't explain where we lose our way. Girl, it's driving me insane. And I know I just need one more chance to prove my love to you. If you come back to me, I'll guarantee that I'll never let you go. This I promise you. Oh my God. Boys to so men. This memories. I promise you, really? <gasps> but you know, boys to men this are just up there. Oh. Bring tears to your eyes. And all that surrounds you. I need all of us to sing this. I'll be your strength. I'll give you hope. Keeping your faith when it is gone. The one you should call is standing there all alone And I will take you in my arms And hold you right where you belong Till the day my life is through This I promise you this I promise you. I can't tell you how happy I am after hearing that. <laughs> Lost Lost and stars? to think this is baby Pablo. Oh, my God. oh nice. Just a boy caught up in dreams and fantasies. Yeah, 
you guys are suggesting some great are songs. We, are we, are we all? Just like that. Thank you so much for that song. <laughs> this song is brought to you by Boy Long Hair. Silent ko daw phone ko, tasi tumuto na. Wait lang ah, silence ko lang yung phone ko. Oh, so the pinging was from his phone. Silence. Thank you, Justin, for your advice. Ja? Sweet. Oh, wait. I've heard this before, but I could have sworn that there wasn't a visual to go with it. It just looked like it was the end of his bed or something, like looking towards a window, wasn't it? I need to hear full versions of this though. We're not fighting. Can it be that we have been this way before? I know you don't think that I am trying. I know you everything down to the core. But hold your breath because tonight we Try and convince me that this is not the most attractive thing that a person can do, is just sit there with an instrument and sing. I mean, he has such an amazing voice, and he can kind of sing any genre and pull it off and convince me that that's where he belongs. However, at some point in his career, I'd really love for him to release an acoustic song. And the reason is because I think you get more control over what you put inside each bar. Um... It can be a little bit freer, and especially if he's going to be playing live on stage. Can you imagine him playing a set live with a guitar? Like, that would just be so incredibly dreamy. And the way that he gets lost in a song as well, I just think it would fit so nicely with him. I want him to sing Avril Lavigne. Hold on to your words His dark is cheap And remember me tonight When you're asleep Because tonight will be the night That I won't fall for you Over again Don't make me change my mind Or I won't live to see another day I swear it's true Okay na yun? <laughs> Medyo lumalabas yung pagka-imo ko eh. Heaven knows. 
It's my favorite song, kahit acapella. Ang ganda rin yan, heaven knows. She's always on my mind From the time I wake up Till I close my eyes She is everywhere I go She is all I know And though she's so far away just keeps getting stronger every day and even now she's gone i'm still holding on oh that little slide so tell me where do i start because it's breaking my heart someone put me in my place i am falling again for this man <laughs> as i do in every performance maybe my Someday, only heaven knows. Maybe our hearts will find a way. Only heaven knows. And all I can do is hope and pray. Cause heaven knows. Heaven knows. Knows. So cheesy. Yes. I mean, thank you to him for singing these songs, but thank you to 18 for having great freaking uh, taste in music in the first place. The songs that are being requested right now. <laughs> I need another version of this in 2023 with his current voice, please. <laughs> I love that so much. Don't you think this is just so nice because often in songs he tend, he can be so attacky, whether he's being attacky in like a hip hop or an up-tempo song, or even if it's a ballad, he's just so in it. So actually it's quite nice to hear him cover other songs that are of course performed in a really different way by artists that do totally different things to what the SB19 boys do. And it's just, it's a refresher on Pablo and his voice and his talents. I try. Like, very rarely do we get to hear him do this with Spreeness, you know?
Oh, well, I need to listen to it in that case. I just realized is that when he sings in Tagalog, it's completely different. He owns that language. That language itself just adds so much depth. And I can only begin to imagine the the meaning, the poetry, the depth that the language holds, you know, that it just can't be translated. I think that if you, you could translate it perhaps to other languages, but I think that the way that the English language is, whatever you translate, it kind of comes across a little bit 2D. Um, so I can only get a little part of everything that Pablo is. You're so incredibly lucky to be able to understand this language. And obviously he feels very passionately about the language and the country. Um, but that kind of peace that I suddenly felt, I was trying to question in my mind what it was, and it was that. <laughs> Alam niyo, baka alam niyo tungkol. She's all laid up in bed with a broken heart While I'm drinking Jack Cologne in my local bar And we don't know how, how we got into this bad situation Only doing things out of frustration Try to make it work, but man, at least I'm the heart I haven't listened to the script in ages. God, I love all of these songs. She now, but I can't seem to find a time. Yeah, I got a new job now on the unemployment line. And we don't know how, how we got into this mess as a contest. Someone help us because we're doing our best. Trying to make it work, but man, these times are hard. And we're going to stop by. I so desperately want SB19 to have a song like this. Yeah! <laughs> I wouldn't say I was ever really a massive Justin Bieber fan. I think that his voice was too sweet for me. Still is, really, even despite like him aging and him starting to sound a little bit different, especially, obviously, to Baby. Um, but there's something so different about Pablo's voice. And then suddenly hearing him sing a Justin Bieber song and adding so much more depth to it. I said this to you before, his voice is kind of cracked. Um, it's raspy. It's got so much texture to it that it's really nice to hear him put his spin on songs that are so sweet. And this is why I like to hear Stell sing a song, and then I like to hear Pablo sing the same song, because I can imagine already how completely different they're going to be.
How many bags you packed just to take it back? Tell me that. How many there are? You can do more if you let me inside of your world. But there'd be one less lonely girl. Kiss us so many pretty faces. Now all I see is you. When you mind in the world Tas! 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 Nakaintertinkin ko yun sa akin Sa mga pinagagawa kong kalokohan nyo yun Medyo Is it? Hindi rin maayos yung pagkakanta ko Pero sana uh, Na-fulfill ko yung gusto nyo kantahin ko Thank you so much for watching Please keep safe God bless you all guys That's not even fair He did that once, didn't he? And never again this was so incredibly special. I felt like he was just sat there serenading me. And you know, you kind of feel in a bubble and you don't want to leave that because the mood is just absolutely right and you feel safe and you feel that you're surrounded by like-minded people. This is what this feels like. I absolutely adore um, all of the song choices right there. Really, really well suited to Pablo. And I think that what happens naturally with everybody is if that was happening people would send you all sorts of songs for you to sing and your eye catches particular ones because you like those you know those and you want to give those a go um and so you can see there was a slight trend in the style of songs that he picked out from what 18 was sending him and perhaps a little bit of a peek as to what we might be able to expect from him in the future obviously the solo stuff that he's given us so far has been super passionate i wouldn't expect anything else from pavlo but super passionate and very very different um but actually this boy is really simple when you get to know him his priorities are absolutely right he has really really clear intentions he's god fearing and everything comes back to that right when you have a religion when you have a basis to live your life on every single day something that keeps you strong and consistent um you actually end up being a really simple person. And he does all that. He's, he's got all of his priorities in check, in place. I thoroughly enjoyed that. If there's anything else like that from Pablo, please do let me know. Um, I guess because they're so busy these days, they don't always get the opportunity to do this sort of stuff. I mean, I know Stell does very, very long TikToks. And actually, I saw one from Justin the other day that was incredibly long as well, which I'm really grateful for. But... Pablo seems to be a bit aloof, <laughs> which is fine. You take your time, you rest, do what you want to do. Um, but I'm incredibly greedy for him to sit down and do something like this. And it's already got my mind going with the kind of songs that if I was there, what would I be requesting for him to sing? Um, I definitely need an acoustic album from him. Perhaps one acoustic song from SB19. I need a rock song from SB19. I need like an indie song from SB19. Um, I've just got so many requests. It's not great, but thank you so much for sharing this with me. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed watching that. And it's nice to see that it's just full to the brim with his personality as well, his little cheeky jokes and him just being like, right, I'm done. <laughs> um, but there's really nothing better than somebody sitting down with an instrument and just off the cuff singing stuff. And it would be so nice to do that in real life with him. Now, before I get started with this final cover, can we talk 1OK Rock for a second? I had no idea that Ken was a fan. And do you know how good it feels when somebody you really love loves somebody else that you really love? Um, I was really, really fortunate that a couple of months ago, I got to see 1OK Rock in real life. They came to London and they were every bit the freaking amazing rock stars that I thought that they were. It was such a crazy, crazy experience. And then I thought, about how massive 1OK Rock are in Asia and suddenly they came to a really medium-sized venue in London. I think the capacity for Eventum is something like, it must be like 3,000 um, and it's a really tiny venue really in my opinion and it was a bit of an eye-opener for me but actually it was really nice because I got to really see all of their faces. I got to see Taka's face and I got to see his eyes, you know, it wasn't so far away that I could barely like make any facial features out. Out. Um, it was a really great experience and to think that I'm really really itching for SB19 to come over here perhaps at this point they wouldn't be able to fill something that has the capacity of 3000 who knows um, I think people would probably travel from all over to get here to watch that show but it made me think that actually 
if One OK Rock are touring and they're this massive and they're filling places like that, SP19 could potentially stop at more places around Europe and cover more people than that. I think that they potentially could reach a wider audience. Uh, they've got a younger fan base and very excitable fans too. And it just made me feel really good. Now, Ken had the opportunity to see One OK Rock in real life and I'm super pleased for him and I love Chaos Smith so much. Now one of my other, well my most favourite man in the entire world, even surpassing Michael Jackson, the late great Michael Jackson, because this person is current, is Ye Sung. Ye Sung of Super Junior. Now I'll never hear a voice quite like that in my whole life and I don't want to. It's fine. Um, I am so smitten with Ye Sung. Um, now he covered this song and really brought it to my attention and I loved it so much. Now you're telling me that the man I've been saying is going to tear this world up, that I want to back with my entire being, Ken, aka Philippe, is going to cover One OK Rocks, Chaos Myth. Can I compose myself? This is a mini, mini cover at only one minute. Why? I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to hear his pronunciation and all of that. Please, let's go. I talked a lot. Yeah. Taurun the guitar. Yeah. So much happened during this boy's life. I can't It's not that I'm doubting him, I know exactly what he sounds like, but why, when I hear him actually sing, do I feel overcome with emotion? That was amazing, I felt like I was at the bottom of a wave and I just rode it and it feels so good. You feel free listening to that voice. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, everybody's days we grew up are the days we will treasure the show. Everybody's show is beginning. The reasons make your own story like dread as if you will live forever. And leave us if you die today. I'm super annoyed that he didn't just go for it. To be honest, it still sounded good, him bringing it down a couple of octaves. Um, but I know, in this voice live, he backed off from Hangang Zahuli, and this was a different time. The current Ken that we have is very, very different, and I'm sure he would attack this. Um, if only this was longer, my goodness. This was more than I was expecting it to be, and I wish that he would do more covers in other languages. He doesn't need to. But it's quite nice if he does, um, especially seeing as how great SP19 are doing in Japan. Did you see that? Are you proud? I'm so proud. They're doing amazing. Um, this was every bit the dream come true. I think even if I'd searched for Ken's covers, this would never have come up. The only reason I searched for this, because I was like, oh, Ken's a 1OK rock fanboy. And I literally just typed it in to see if he'd ever spoken about it or how could I find out like what he thinks. And this came up and I was like, for real, this was amazing. And it's weird because I'm fangirling for another group through somebody that I'm fangirling for. It's like a dot to dot. I don't really know how to explain it, but it feels so damn good. This whole set of stuff that I've included in this, as I said to you, doesn't really fit anywhere else, but belongs to be watched together. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this with me. Please do talk to me about all the stuff that I've included in this, gone through quite a journey, spent some time with the man of my dreams, uh, Stel, right at the very beginning, and then just went off into a totally different land with Pablo and his creating that safe space, um, being brave, and coming right back to baby Ken. I feel so full. I feel content. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.